you won't need anything big, anything outside. My location is actually in my room. Oh, that noise. Because I am a motherfucking communication design student, I am going to communicate the way of how I photograph, how to make a setup, because I actually got requests for this shit. Let's start. As everything in life, the best thing you can do is just start. To make a photograph look quite right, okay, whatever, you are going to need an idea. If you don't have an idea, ideas can not need to come up when you start photographing. I came up today with an idea which was pretty simple but I've never done this before. Just taking a photograph of myself sitting on the floor. It's a simple idea but the main thing behind this is I uh, need a new picture for my Facebook page and this is going to be the headliner. You can cut us into a panoramic Thing. Oh, well, it's not... The first thing after the idea, so actually it is the second thing you are going to need, is a camera. But I would recommend using a DSLR because this is what I am using and I can only show you the way I am doing stuff. You could also use a non-digital camera, but this is going to take so much longer and we are going to talk about digital photography, yay! So I am going to show you my camera and what I've done today and it's simple as fuck but the result is quite well. So my camera is the Canon EOS 400. D. Of course, I'm not paid for this video. I'm just using Canon since I was 15 and it does what it has to. And what I'm telling the modern technology to do. So that's why I'm using Canon. I was always confident with this and um, I tried different brands. I'm not going to blame anything but myself for this because I'm really obsessed with Canon. Can you see it's it's broke because I'm using it for like over 10 years. Damn, I'm old. I got so old. When do you get so old? As a remote control, but to photograph yourself, I really really, really recommend using a remote control. Control, you can buy these in Japan, China and stuff for like really 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 some euros, some dollars, whatever country you're in. If you have a camera, could be any camera, DLSR, whatever, and you have a remote control, you can start with your idea, with your setup, and um, yeah, so we're changing the location. What else is important? The makeup. You won't need anything big, anything outside. My location is actually in my room. Oh, that noise. My location is the corner. I've already cleaned it. And I'm going to sit over here. Tripod. You can take anything. A camera can stand on clearly. This thingy. Position my camera. The angle. It is going downwards. We wanting it to be like this straight on the thing you're going to photograph. We are going to use the hood lamp. You only need to position it right there. For experimental tripod. If you're having more of an old school camera like me, the problem is you can photograph yourself but how do you see what you're doing because the display is behind the camera and you can't rotate it because it's an old-school camera obviously my trick is to put a mirror behind the display so here we have the camera and there is the mirror as you can tell when I now take a take a photograph 
I will sit on that wall, but I will still see the position on my display, which is otherwise not possible with this camera. Yeah, I'm looking at the display a lot, something you shouldn't do. So when you take a picture, when you take a picture of yourself, make sure you always look at the writing above the lens. It will create the illusion that you're looking at the person who's behind the camera, which will later lead to the illusion that you're facing the viewer of the photo. It will create, oh, I'm creating so much. <laughs> it will create um, a look of fire in your eyes. It will make the picture more alive. It won't look dead, it won't look flat. It will look more like there's something happening. We'll start recreating and um, reinventing and reflect. Reflection is always important just because yeah, there's so much to learn. I have so much to learn. But just try out and continue what you're doing. It's just like I do. And so my message is believe in yourself you don't need any expensive equipment besides a camera and remote control and you don't need any expensive setup and as usual don't think about it too much too much too much too much